Hey everyone, I'm one of the insect managers at Josh's Frogs and I want to talk to you about some of the creepy crawly uh, spooky season sales that we're having today um, until the 25th. Uh, the first example is a tarantula bundle. We're calling it the Avicularia. Ah, make it spooky. Um, so this is a Guyana pink toe. Um, what's included in the tarantula bundle that we're doing is a Amazonian pink toe, a Guyana pink toe, and then the North Guyana blue pink toe. Um, the bundle will be 13% off. They're super cute, easy to care for, arboreal species. Uh, they're relatively calm, great feeding response. Uh, they kind of look like a giant dust bunny and little furries, but they're great. Yeah, one of the best, um, I think one of the best uh, starting off species if you're gonna get into tarantulas. And then one of the other tarantulas that uh, we're offering in another bundle is this is the OBT, the orange baboon tarantula, or also known as the orange bitey thing. As you can see, it's a beautiful orange coloration. And this bundle we're calling the Jerko Lantern because that's what they are. <laughs> they don't like people. Um, this is a somewhat fossorial species, and so not big climbers. Um, we like to set them up with a bunch of substrate, dryer, lets them burrow in, make webs. Uh, they do like to make their webs, you know, a little higher than the soil, so if you give them enough space, they'll make a great web, great feeding response, huge attitude. Um, yeah, they always put on a great show. But they are an old world um, fossorial, and so they do have some mild venom to it, definitely. Not one of the best beginner species, but definitely one of the best overall. All right, getting to some uh, some other creepy crawlies here. These are good old Madagascar hissing roaches. Oh, what are you doing on there? You can see we got a female here and a male here. These are also 13% uh, percent off. They can be used as feeders. Uh, we typically recommend them to be more pet roaches, just because of how cute they are. <laughs> so these guys are gonna be 13% off. Very easy to care for. We can just keep them in a bin with some egg crate and soil and feed them. You know, we have food that we offer them, uh, similar to cricket food, but also fruit, just uh, dog food, cat food, stuff like that, they're pretty easy to care for. Um, similar to Madagascar hissers, these are orange heads. Uh, they get their name because if you look closely, they kind of look like they have a face on the orange uh, carapace behind their head. Um, these are a little bit smaller than the Madagascar hissers. Come here. A little bit smaller than hissers, um, primarily used as feeders. Um, if you're using these instead of dubia, they do have a little bit more meat to their bones. Um, so even though they are kind of smaller, they do have you know higher protein to them. Uh, very easy to care for. You pretty much keep them the same that you do dubia, um, some substrate, keep them with some egg crate, feeding them pretty much food scraps. Um, same thing you offer the hissers. Where are you going? Come here. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are also going to be 13% off. Okay, now it's time to go back. Okay. Um, getting into some more creepy crawlies here. These are captive bred hermit crabs. Um, it is incredibly hard to find captive bred hermit crabs uh, available. We were able to get some from one of the original um, breeders of these hermit crabs um, and they are going to be activated onto the site here soon but they are incredibly cute. Pretty easy to care for. Um, eat a lot of, uh, you know, meat, a lot of dried foods, um, yeah, they're awesome. We're getting into some isopods. These are the zebras. Um, these are a more arboreal species. They like it a little less wet than some other isopod species that you might think of. Um, but these guys are detritivores. And so they go around the enclosure, pretty much eating any decaying organic matter um, that you have. They breed pretty prolifically, up to, I think, 200 babies per clutch. Um, so yeah, once they get established, they're, they're in there. <laughs> they're always gonna be in there. 
And then the last isopod I brought to show you. These are magic potions, Japanese magic potions. I thought they kind of fit along the lines of spooky season sales. Um, so these are Japanese magic potions, uh, Armadilidium vulgare. Um, they are one of the easiest species to keep. Uh, although vulgare comes in a lot of different morphs, they are all kept the same in you know, damp conditions, uh, offering you know, decaying plant matter, um, we give them bug burger, you can give them carrots and cucumbers and stuff like that. And they, they go to town on them. Uh, they produce these very beautiful yellows and browns and whites and splotches through there. Yeah, you guys are great. Yeah, just letting you know some of the things they're going to be having for sale at, uh, what, today versus, today until the 25th is when we're doing it. So get on the website. Or some creepy crawlies.